Good morning, Bucknutters. It's Tuesday, June 17th, 2014. I am Dan Rubin. This is the Bucknuts Morning 5. Got a great show planned for you today. Going to take a look at the camp going on at Ohio State today. Bill Curlick will be there and he will preview the get-together and who you want to keep an eye on and who he'll be keeping an eye on. We're going to take a look at quarterback recruiting. We're going over the depth chart last night, projecting it out and have some interesting points I hope to share on that. Then we'll take a look at what we have coming up on the site today because it's a packed effort once again. One of the most talked about things on the site these days is whether or not Ohio State will take a second quarterback in the class of 2015. Already got Joe Burrow in the fold. Bill Curlick has reported for eons that they were only going after a second quarterback if it's Torrance Gibson. Yet there's some clamoring on the site for guys like Travis Wall or maybe a DeAndre Francois who's announced he's going to take a visit to Ohio State. I sat down and plotted out the depth chart through 2018. And the way I see it, the only two big-time quarterback battles, if you look at it, are going to be 2015 next season between JT Barrett, Cardale Jones, and then 2000. 2018. My guess is Barrett wins the job next year and is the starting quarterback for three seasons. And then 2018, whoever is recruited in the 2016 spot, if it's a primetime player, is going to be in good shape. So I think Dwayne Haskins has taken on an added level of importance, at least in my eyes. I've said out loud that I think Justin Hillier is the most important recruit they have on the board in either class, 15 or 16 combined. And that Liam Eichenberg, the standout left tackle from St. Ignatius in the class of 2016, is going to be the highest rated left tackle prospect out of Ohio State since the Alex Boone and Orlando Paces of the world was number two. I think I've moved Dwayne Haskins up into the two spot now just because quarterback is so important. And whoever is the 2016 quarterback is going to be in prime position to take over for JT Barrett in 2018. That said, I don't see the need for two quarterbacks in the class of 2015. If you look at it, Joe Burrow is going to be challenged to ever get on the field. So adding another player who may take up space in a class you're already taking a long snapper doesn't make sense to me. Meep, meep. As teased at the top of the show, there's a one-day camp for bigger dudes at Ohio State today. Bill Curlick will be there, and he lets you know what he plans to see. The Buckeyes' number one tight end target, Chris Clark from Connecticut, is visiting Ohio State today, and certainly that is a very big deal. But it's certainly not the only big news today regarding Ohio State football. The Ohio State two-day skill and big man camp starts today and then concludes on Wednesday, and there are some great storylines with that camp. One of them is definitely linebacker Nick Connor from Dublin, Scioto, who is going to camp today in hopes of earning a scholarship offer from Ohio State. It's been no secret that Connor wants a Buckeye offer, and he gets his chance to show his stuff in front of the Ohio State coaches today. Also, 2016 defensive end Prince Sammons from Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy High School in Ohio will arrive at Ohio State later today. It's not certain if he will work out today or wait until tomorrow, but he is going to work out at Ohio State either today or tomorrow or both, and he will be working with Ohio State defensive line coach Larry Johnson and I wouldn't be surprised at all if Sammons would get an offer from Ohio State. He has at least nine scholarship offers right now including Louisville and Kentucky and the six foot eight 260 pounder is a defensive end with outstanding potential. Offensive lineman Tyler Gerald from Portsmouth Sciotaville Community High School is going to be at Ohio State. He will be at Ohio State on Wednesday and he will camp. He already has has an Ohio State scholarship offer. The storyline with him is, will he perhaps be enticed to commit to Ohio State and join George Hill in Ohio State's 2016 recruiting class? So certainly there are some very big storylines with this Ohio State skill and big man camp that runs today and tomorrow. Buck nuts will be on hand. I will be at the camp, and certainly we will have plenty of reports for you on bucknuts.com. Keep a close eye, as this is another big two-day session for Ohio State football recruiting. Meep, meep. We thank the Dean of Midwest Recruiting for sharing some of his knowledge with us. Make sure you are following him all day. He'll be at the one-day camp, as he mentioned, bringing you the goods. Other stuff to look for today. Got a great boarding house plan for you with an update on <clears throat> defensive back Jerome Whitehead out of Pennsylvania. And then later on this afternoon, Alex Kaleitman will be previewing all the visits you can expect to happen over the next three days at Ohio State. Maybe the offseason, but not for Herb and the staff. Have a great day, Bucknutters. And don't forget, if you're not a premium member and want to have access to things like the boarding house, get on the site now and sign up for a premium membership. And you have the site free until the kickoff of football season when Ohio State heads to Baltimore to take on Navy. <laughs>